Hey, this is Safi Vavi from TheKinners.com In this video I'm going to teach you how to play the Mega Man 2 Wily's Castle theme Now, first I'm going to play it and then we're going to break it down lick by lick But before we do that, I just want to note that um, I also transcribed both voicings at the beginning And I play it like this Okay? And um, you don't have to, I'm going to teach you both ways to play it You can play it either like this or with both voicings. I'm going to show you both ways, but first let me just play it so you can get acquainted with the fingerings and the positions and how it looks and feels, and then we're going to break it down, leg by leg, slowly, and I'm going to teach you how to do that. So, allow me to begin. Begin. The first line is this. And its voicing is this. So together they sound. And when you do this, the sixth you want to mute the middle uh, string, the, which is the fourth string in this position. You want to mute it with your with your um, fretting finger. Okay? We don't hear this. So... So it's easier than the sixth. So and then you just bar the fourth, the fourth fret. So when you do the both ninth frets, you need this, the seven and the eighth um, afterwards. So use your third finger and the pinky. Okay? And then... Simple arpeggio. First finger, third finger, second and first. Finger. And then second part. Really, really simple. Okay? Simple solo. And then, um, and then, then an arpeggio. Make sure you don't play all notes together. Don't do this. Okay, because it's a solo, it's not a harmony. And then again. This line. And then the finishing lick. Okay, slide from 13 to 16. And then just bar. 
fret. No, no reason to use a second finger. And then the next part, ninth fret, bar it, and then bar the seventh fret. Okay, don't move your finger, your first finger from the seventh fret. Use the pinky and the third. And then for the next lick, use the same fingering. Okay, again, third, third finger. Always try to change fingers, that's correct fingering. Now, we also change position. And we bar the ninth fret with our first finger. And then the arpeggio again. Then this lick again. And then the next part. Now, get ready, get your second finger ready on the 14th fret. Leave the first finger on the 12th and just pull off from 16 to 14 to 12 and then slide to the 11th. Okay, slide your first finger to the 11th fret. It's simpler than it sounds. Okay. Okay, so. Okay. You can also pick it. You don't have to, uh, to pull it off. You can do. Okay, it sounds good either way. I like to pull it off. Okay. So. And then this lick again. And then. Again with your first finger. And then change position. Okay, 11, 9, 12. 12th fret with your pinky. Excuse me? 16. So. That's final lick of this part. So. You can also slide to the 14th. And then again the arpeggio. Then the final line. Again, with dual voicings, you can, of course, only you can choose to play just the bottom notes, the high notes. So you can also you can just choose to play, okay, without the bass, note. and then. the bottom notes, the high notes, the treble notes, without the bass notes, and with the bass notes sounds like this. Excuse me. And then. Okay, again with the pinky and the third finger, not barring. You can bar with your third finger, but then you risk sounding off the first string so I recommend using both fingers okay it just repeats and then and that's the final lick of this solo so that's Mega Man 2 Wily's Castle theme now there are three things you can do you can subscribe to my channel, of course, and why not? I update and upload a new lesson every couple of days or so, and you want to keep updated. If you like this lesson, why not just get updated with more lessons? They're free, and that's the second thing I wanted to tell you, that these lessons are free and will always be free, and that's why the only thing I ask in return is for you to share them. Please share these lessons so other people can enjoy and benefit and learn, and just let them know that Lick and Riff is out there, the channel, the website, this lesson, this particular lesson um, is out there on the web for the whole world to learn this arrangement. And 
way more lessons. So before I stop talking and let you practice, the third thing I wanted to say is go practice. Get this under your fingers. Play it slowly. If you're not used to playing sixths and thirds, then play it slowly at first. Really, really slowly, like this. Okay? Until you can until you're comfortable with it, until you can play it just without feeling as if you're practicing, okay? It makes sense, because if you play this for a week, just this line... Then, believe me, in a week, um, you'll be playing this blindfolded. So, go practice. Enjoy. I'll see you next lesson.